Hey, welcome back. Um, we are going to keep doing quick Bible readings. Uh, if you've seen the channel before, you know that I try to give you a quick message to think about, you know, for the day. Um, always as a whole, I encourage you to read the whole chapter, if not the whole book. Um, know who they're talking about, in what context. Um, you know, definitely try to keep it in context. Um, for these verses, what I try to do is um, apply them to, like, my daily life. And I think, okay, how does this go into practice for me? So, um, the one that we're going to look at today is Proverbs 19.3. And this is actually one of my favorite ones because um, I'm guilty of it from time to time. I've definitely listened to people uh, do the same thing. And it says, a man's own folly ruins his life, yet his heart rages against the Lord. And what I thought was so interesting about that is we tend to blame God whenever things aren't going well. Um, and in a lot of times, it's free will. It's either our free will, our choices that led us down that path, <clears throat> or it's someone else's free will that we're a victim of. Um, very rarely is it God just putting his you know, fist or hammer down on you and just looking to ruin your life or put you in a bad way. Um, I do believe that God's involved in life, and I think that he's a gentleman, and when you invite him into a situation, when you ask him to be a part of it, uh, and you listen to him for the decisions you're making, things can go better than you expect. And usually they won't work out exactly um, how you're expecting them to work out, but they can work out better than what you can do on your own for sure. Uh, and you can see how God works with you and, and carries you through it and how the decisions he asks you to trust him on um, really were for the best. And you can look back at and see how that situation worked out and use that to build your faith and strengthen your faith for the next time that you need God. And, and really, what I'd encourage you to do is include God daily. Um, you know, it says in the Bible to uh, seek God in the morning while it's even still dark and, and, you know, pray, get your quiet time then, seek Him, involve Him in the things that you have going on the, for that day. Uh, not just your anxieties and your worries, but the things that you're not worried about. Um, you know, I'll pray for things that we're just doing throughout the day and ask God to be a part of them because he knows if there could be a problem. He knows if we might need something and we can see him bless it and make it better than what we can do on it, on our own. But uh, going back to the verse, you know, a man's own folly leads to his ruin. So we do things and they don't work out and his heart rages against the Lord. So we do things, they don't work out. And then we're like, God, where were you? And he's like, you never invited me into the situation. You never asked me to be a part of that. Why are you yelling at me now, you know? Um, and it would be very much like if your supervisor at work came out of a, a meeting that didn't go well and said, you know, why wasn't your presentation better? And you're like, I didn't make a presentation. You didn't even invite me to the meeting. You know, it, it serves no logic to think that, you know, that's just going to happen. Now, that's not to say that other people might be praying for you and asking God to be involved in your life and, uh, you know, making moves on your behalf. But, um, you know, our free will makes a difference. And we have a tendency in our pride to take um, the good and never the bad. And what I mean by that is when I accomplish something, it's like, look what I did. But when something doesn't go well, it's not like, oh, look what I did. It's, oh, look what you did, God. But really, shouldn't we be saying like, hey, look at this great thing that happened out. Thanks, God. Um, it tends to be the other way around. And a lot of times, you know, we're not involving him in the first place. So um, I want to encourage you to, um, you know, grow and challenge yourself in this because I know that it, it's taken work and focus for me not to be mad at God when things aren't working out, when things aren't going my way. You know, it's very easy to say, why didn't this work out? Why didn't this go better? But, you know, at the end of the day, I made choices, I made plans, I did things, and, and they don't always work out. And it's not because God's hating on me, um, but I need to be listening also and say, like, okay, did I ask God to be involved? And what steps did he give me in that involvement? And did I take them? So really reflecting on those things, praying, asking God to be part of your day can make it so much better. 
So thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe and like below and I'll continue to keep them coming.